Today I'm going to tie probably the world's best nymph, if not the world's best trout, trout fly ever. It's a gold bead or a gold head pheasant tail. In this case I'm going to tie it on a size 14 hook to which I've just attached a brass bead. Now you can use a tungsten bead if you want a little more depth and of course you can vary the sizes to suit your own waters. I begin by tying in the tying silk just behind the bead and I work my way back down to where I'm going to tie in the tail. The tail and the body in this fly are made from the same material, pheasant tail, and I cut out about approximately 10 to a dozen fibres. Then measure it to get the tail approximately the length of the body. Two or three loose turns and then tighten down. That creates the tail. Next I add in gourd wire. You can use copper wire but uh, the trout don't seem to mind whether it's gold or copper. Now I work the pheasant tail in touching turns towards the bead and just behind the bead I create a little bit more bulk in order to give it the tapered effect. Tie in the pheasant tail. Giving it a good few turns here in order to secure it. Now trim off the, the waist, being careful not to trim or cut the tying thread at the same time. Now the gold wire. I'm bringing the gold wire in the opposite direction to the direction I put on the pheasant tail. That um, further reinforces the fly and makes it more durable. And now three or four touching turns, or not touching turns, but three or four turns towards the bead. Trim off the wire. And finish off behind the bead with two whip finishes. Now you can, if you like, put on a little dab of varnish or head cement just behind the bead which would uh, further secure it again, but two whip finishes is adequate in my view. So there we are, tied in a couple of minutes, probably the best nymph ever devised.